This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. We're broadcasting from Park City, Utah, from the Sundance Film Festival. To talk more about the documentary, We Steal Secrets, the story of WikiLeaks, we're joined by Jennifer Robinson, legal advisor for Julian Assange. We welcome you to Democracy Now!, you. Jennifer. You watched the film. What were your thoughts? Well, I think this is a film that touches upon incredibly important subject matter. This is, of course, a film about WikiLeaks, about the largest leak in history. It touches on incredibly important issues about journalism and whistleblowing. But unfortunately, I do not think that this film does justice to those issues. Why? In particular, I think, look, filmmaking is, of course, has its challenges. I think Alex Gibney is an incredible filmmaker and has made some very important films. But filmmakers have to make choices, and what I think are interesting about the choices here is that this film does not recognise the threats that WikiLeaks faces in terms of potential US prosecution. It does not reference the grand jury. It seeks to present Julian Assange as a fantasist and a paranoid fantasist while not recognising the threats that he faces. In particular, the film states specifically that Ecuador granted asylum without evidence. Now, we know it doesn't refer, the film doesn't refer to the grand jury. These are objectively available facts that are on the public record. There is a grand jury in existence. There is an active, ongoing criminal investigation against Julian Assange. It was discovered through, diplom through diplomatic cables from the Australian government that the criminal investigation is of unprecedented size and scale. Now, this film does not reference that in any shape or form, and I think that's an incredible oversight. I wanted to play a clip of Julian Assange when we interviewed him. He was speaking inside the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Um, and this is the clip where... Um, I ask him why he believes um, that if he were sent to Sweden, he could be extradited to the United States, and if he's actually negotiating with the Swedish government uh, right now. Well, Amy, Ecuador has really stepped up to the, to the plate and, um, and must be congratulated. Um, I have been found to be, through a formal process of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, a political refugee and has been granted political asylum in relation to what has been happening in the United States and allied countries and their behaviour, Sweden uh, and the United Kingdom. Um, the situation for me now is that I have been here for five months uh, in this embassy. Uh, prior to that, uh, 18 months uh, under house arrest. Prior to that, uh, being chased around uh, the world for about six months. Uh, by uh, U.S. intelligence and its allies. Now, I must uh, correct an earlier statement that you made uh, that has become common uh, in, in the press, uh, saying that I was here uh, in relation to Sweden. The reason I am here is essentially in relation to the United States. Uh, but the Swedish government uh, said publicly that it would imprison me without charge. Uh, and in such a situation, I'd not be able to apply for asylum. Now, the Ecuadorian government has asked the Swedish government uh, to give a guarantee uh, that I would not be extradited to the United States. We have asked uh, for a long time uh, for such a guarantee. That has been refused. Now, all the regular processes have been refused in this case. Um, you know, it's, it's an extremely odd uh, and bizarre case, and I encourage everyone to go and look at that aspect of the case at justiceforassange.com, uh, and you can see report after report. You can see all the um, material that the police claim uh, to be true and uh, other things that have occur occurred. Um, the Cambridge uh, uh, International Comparative Law Journal condemning uh, the decisions that were made here uh, in the British courts. That was Julian Assange speaking to us from inside the Ecuadorian embassy, where he's been holed up for something like eight months now, not clear um, when he will come out. But um, Jennifer Robinson, our guest now, the legal advisor to Julian Assange, your response to filmmaker Alex Gibney saying that why should he be above the law? Why should he get an assurance from the Swedish government he won't be extradited to the United States? Because the Swedish government would take that in turn if the request came in. Well, of course, he's, we're not suggesting that he's above the law. This film fails to recognise the reason that he, was, that he sought asylum. It is not with respect to the allegations in Sweden. He has offered his testimony with respect to Sweden. The Swedish prosecutor has, in other cases, 
interviewed suspects outside of the country. Thanks so much for watching this report from Democracy Now!, your daily independent global news hour. We don't accept advertising or corporate funding, but rather rely on donations from viewers like you. Please make your contribution by visiting democracynow.org. We need your support today to keep bringing you this hard-hitting, in-depth reporting.